Hi guys, it's Courtney and Reagan, and we're back with another exciting video. We got Monster Jam Mini Series 7! Let's go! I say it all the time, but these are my favorite videos to make. I <laughs> yeah. love the minis. These are my favorite product that Spin Master comes out with, or probably any Monster Jam toy, or Monster Truck toy company. Excuse me, I'm getting too far ahead of myself. He's too excited! I'm too excited! And this is a dang good series too, everybody. Just I'm, I don't want to be too spoiled. I kind of want to be mostly surprised. But I will just kind of show this and have you guys look at it, because I don't want to see what's in here. I want it to be a surprise for me. I don't know the codes. I don't know the numbers. All I know is that the last two digits is what signifies what truck is in here. Mm -hmm. So Courtney, you're gonna start us off. Really? Pick one for us to open right now. Okay guys, this is the first one, it's five seven. Code five seven. seven. Let's see which one we get. Woo, Ooh, okay. zombie with a maroon body. That's a chassis, Courtney. The body's right here. Never mind. <laughs> so we got this brand new edition of Zombie in the Monster Jam Minis line with the maroon chassis. Black tires, normal body. Pretty nice addition. I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. It fits the whole zombie bloody gore theme. My turn, everybody. We got code 50. I'm going to open it up right now. Not waste any more time. What is in here? <gasps> I got the gold! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa! Okay, so the gold for this series is Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Look at that. I love Dalmatian. I'm surprised they picked Dalmatian before Monster Mutt itself for a gold, but that is pretty cool. I, you know, Monster Mutt Dalmatian is always family-friendly, kid-friendly. Everyone loves this truck, <laughs> and I think it looks very good as a gold. Okay, guys, my next one is 48. Code 48. Which truck is it? Whoa! Ooh, one of my favorites, Earthshaker. Let's go. We got Earthshaker with a brown chassis and yellow tires matching that uh, color palette on the rest of the truck. Yeah, it all <laughs> blends together. I really like it. Very nice. Code 55 right here. 55, everybody. 55. What is in code 55? We got... Oh, Son of a Digger. I didn't even know Son of a Digger was in this series. So this one has very interesting colors. Uh, kind of like a indigo chassis. I guess that's what that color is. Purple. Like very... Dark. Like, Blue purple. Blurple. We got blurple. And then we got a blue uh, tires on it. And the front grill is painted, and that is always oh, nice to see. Yes. Very nice, son of a digger. This looks very good. The graphics are pretty clear on this one, too. Yeah, that's a really good one. I like all the colors together. <laughs> we keep dropping them. Okay, guys, next one. Four seven. Let's see what Courtney's gonna pull right now. Open What's in up. there, guys? What's in Whoa! there? Oh, this is a cool one. I remember seeing <laughs> this one. Metallic body, blue thunder. That is very Did nice. You guys I think. See that? I think that's one of the four rares that's in this case. This oh, one yeah. is beautiful. So I think a couple series ago we got like we we're supposed to get a Chrome El Toro Loco, but it did not come out Chrome. Oh. I think this is the first one that they got right on the Chrome. I'm not sure. But this looks beautiful. I love the blue that they used on the tires and the chrome body. I hope that's showing up good on camera. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's ultra shiny. I actually see my own reflection in the hood <laughs> right there. Very cool. And the white chassis really makes it pop. This yeah. one is super cool. That one's really good. Code 46. This one is Calavera. Woo! So I think first time since Series 2 we're seeing Calavera return. And I think this time it just has purple tires instead of black tires. I don't really know the difference, but here's Calavera back again in the minis line. Code 52. Code 52. What's going to be in it? I'm excited. Woohoo! Oh, that is nice. We got the 30th anniversary Gravedigger. The green one. So back yeah. in Series 1, they had the purple body for 30th anniversary grave digger and now in series seven we're getting the green one i completely forgot that this was in the set that one looks so good this one is beautiful i always love the 30th anniversary green body it looks so good yeah, the green chassis and the purple tires oh it's so perfect oh it it's purple thick a lot of good purples in the line today for series seven very good i love this truck and the graphics just get clearer and clearer on these every new series we get mm -hmm. 51 what is in code 51? Oh, this one is cool too. We got fire grave diggers. Oh, yeah. So I love that they've been putting the fire and ice trucks in here. It opens a lot of opportunities to see like the Gears and Galaxy trucks and the Earth and Surf uh, trucks that are just coming out now. It, we, that opens up a whole new door for them to be in the minis lines. I love fire and ice though. That's my favorite out of all of them. And fire grave digger is one of my favorite trucks that came out of the fire and ice days. Very nice. 
The only thing I wish they did is color the front windshield in. Or not windshield, excuse me, the front headlights. That would have made it perfect. It doesn't actually have a windshield, guys. Excuse me. But I think this looks beautiful. Very nice truck. Code 5-6. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> we have the, oops. We have the clear body of Soldier Fortune. Black Ops. Oh, okay. Soldier Fortune Black Ops right With here. With the clear tires. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, it's got clear tires too, as, as well as the body. This one is so cool. You guys see the clear tires and clear body? Yeah, yep. Very it's cool. Up. That is very cool. Like this is again. Like I tried surprising myself. I didn't want any spoilers. Very nice. This one is super cool. I love like the black smoky, like clear gray color. Yeah. It looks so cool. It's really cool. Code fifty three. Code 53 is Yellow Max D. Whoa. This is cool, too. So Yellow Max D only ran for one season back in 2016. And I did not expect them to make it into mini. But this is a very nice addition to the minis. They got Red Max D. They got Normal Max D. I think they got Gold one, too. So they got, like, all the Max D colors now in the mini line. Very cool. This one is nice because of the black stripe. I always think that looks cool. Yeah. Uh, none of the other Max Ds have that look. Looks like Bumblebee from Transformers. Okay, guys, my last one of today. Very sad. It's code 54. Go, Courtney. What's in code 54? What is it, guys? Oh! Yeah! Ooh! Mohawk Warrior. First ever release. That is so cool. Oh the first Mohawk Warrior in the minis. It's kind of hard to see the, the print on him, but you see the face and the little Mohawk. That is so Great cool. Great clips. Oh yeah, this is really good quality. I've been waiting for this for a very long time, everybody. I'm surprised it did not come out a lot sooner. It took a little Series 7 to get the first Mohawk Warrior. Mm -hmm. I love it though. I'm glad they waited to perfect it because this thing is pretty much perfect. It's got like the same tooling as uh, it does in the uh, normal scale line where it's got the Escalade and it's got the Mohawk on it. Pretty accurate. This thing looks nice. I love the gray chassis and the black tires. Super cool. I love that one. Everybody, last one of the day, code 49. Let's see what we get open. Code 49 is Black El Toro Loco with a silver chassis. Ooh. So this is, I guess, I, just a normal edition of Black El Toro Loco. We've seen in the mini line before. But I think the chassis was more of a gray than a silver. This time it appears to be a lot lighter than before. So again, I love the variation. They still have not had a single direct repeat in the minis. Um, mm -hmm. At least the uh, you know singles packs they've had in the, uh, the multi-packs they have repeats. But no direct repeats in the singles line. So another win for this one that I dropped twice. <laughs> so here they all are lined up, everybody. Another great case of minis. Oh, yeah. I love these. Another good series. Spin Master has only been getting better with the minis, I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. I love this line. One of my favorites. I love the new metallic yeah. series that they're doing. I hope they keep making them. Oh, yeah. Love the Fire and Ice. Love the Mohawk Warrior. Love the Clear Black Ops. Such a good case. Oh, yeah. It's hard to pick a favorite. I really like the Son of a Digger. And the Mohawk Warrior, but I think I'm going to choose the Grave Digger today, guys. That, that is one's a very awesome. very good pick. Yes, very good pick. The 30th anniversary Grave Digger with the green body is one of the most, I would say, underrated trucks of all time. A lot of people talk about the green one, talk mm -hmm. about the purple one a lot more. But I don't know, my favorite one, this is really tough. I think I'm going to have to go with that Chrome Blue Thunder, because that's completely caught me off guard about how shiny that thing is. Yeah. Normally, I would not pick a truck like that. I usually like the realistic ones, like that Mohawk Warrior mm -hmm. up there. But that thing is just beautiful. That is my favorite of the day. That it Chrome is. Blue Thunder. I really want like a Grave Digger oh, and yeah. Son of a Digger. But that oh, Chrome, that looks beautiful. Yeah. But if you guys enjoyed today's video and want to see us open more Monster Jam minis, make sure you click the like button, comment your favorite mini right here, and subscribe to RC Toy Reviews with the notification bell on so you miss any future videos. You can follow us on Instagram, RC Toy Reviews, TikTok, RC Dot Toy Reviews. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye bye. bye.